It turns out there are two ways to get a strong storm like Sandy into the New York, New Jersey area, and Sandy used the least likely of those two ways. Let's look at scenario number one, which is a more typical kind of hurricane scenario. A storm forms out here over the eastern Atlantic, arcs to the north, and just happens to end up near New Jersey. In this case, you get a developing system. It can turn into a strong hurricane over the warm waters to the south, and then it speeds to the north and it moves fast enough over the cold cold waters that it's still strong up here and it produces a big storm surge into the northeast. Now the second scenario is the sandy scenario. A weak system develops out here over the Atlantic, slowly gains strength as it moves toward the Caribbean. Now to the north, we have the jet stream. It's always up there, kind of waving around, and often these two don't interact at all. But sometimes the jet stream gets more wavy and you get a dip over the east coast and a high develops over the North Atlantic that can block the progress of that dip. And that dip can kind of pull down and lift the system north, and this is how we get hurricanes in Florida and up into the Carolinas. But in the Sandy case, this high was extremely strong, and it created a kink in the jet stream, and that created this odd path for Sandy to move offshore and then come back ashore as a strong hurricane. So once again, we get a strong, monstrous storm pushing storm surge into the northeast. Here comes the Hudson River. That storm surge hit nine feet above high tide in lower Manhattan, and battering waves on top of that devastated the Jersey Shore. These ingredients don't come together very often, but in fact, it could happen again. Storm surge is really dependent on a number of factors, not just the meteorology, such as the strength of the storm or the size of the storm, but also the coastal geography. So anywhere you see the coast caves inward or meets the ocean at a right angle, you're going to have a higher than normal storm surge threat. So really any hurricane that makes landfall to the south of New York City is going to pose a significant storm surge threat.